Hello friends, welcome back. Our today's topic is trigonometry. Friends, as we know, trigonometry is one of the very important topic for all kind of competitive exams. Let it be SSC, Railway and UPSC, CDS. Friends, in each exam, minimum 5 to 6 questions will be asked. Friends, our today's session is very important session because we are going to solve the CDS exam previous year question. So friends, I will suggest you to please watch the previous videos on trigonometry so that you will be able to understand how we are going to solve the questions here. Okay. So friends, this particular question has been asked in the CDS exam 2015. Now friends, if tan A plus B, so friends, if tan A plus B is equals to root 3 and tan A and tan A is equals to 1 then you have to calculate friends tan a minus b okay now friends so tan a plus b and friends root 3 we can write tan 60 degree and friends tan a i can write is equal to tan 45 degree because we know the value of the value of tan 60 will be root 3 and the value of tan 45 will be 1 okay so we have replaced the value with tan 60 degree and tan 45 degree now friends both side tan is there so i can write a plus b is equals to 60 degree and here a is equals to i can write 45 degree now friends a is equals to 45 so a is equals to 45 plus b will be equal to 60 degree and now b will be equal to 60 minus 45 is nothing but 15 degree now the value of a and the value of b we got so friends we have to calculate tan a minus b so tan a is nothing but 45 degree friends you can see here and tan b is nothing but 15 degree so this will be tan 30 degree and the value of tan 30 degree is nothing but 1 by 3 so option c will be the correct answer so friends the values of all trigonometric functions like sine cos and tan with the angles 0 30 45 60 and 90 has been discussed in the previous videos of trigonometry so friends that is the reason i was asking you to please watch the previous video so that you will be able to understand and then when you will solve you will be able to solve it quickly because all those values will be there in your mind because there i have discussed also how to calculate the values of tan sine cos and how to remember that now friends moving towards the second seat so friends question number two you can see again this question has been asked in the cds exam 2016 now friends if sine 35 degree divided by cos 55 degree whole square minus cos 55 degree divided by sine 35 degree whole square plus 2 sine 30 these values we have to calculate friend so friends for calculating the values of this we need to again recall what i have taught you in what i have taught you in the previous video so friend this will be x axis y axis and minus x and minus y so here 0 90 180 270 and friends this will be 360 degree also now friends basically what we have to do so friends sine and cos is given cos and sine is given so we'll try to convert we'll try to convert sine into cos or cos into sine so both will both should work out now friends sine 35 degree sine 35 degree friends i can write sine 90 minus 55 degree now friends in the previous videos while uh, calculating the sines while we move from the y axis so friends y axis when you cross that time that time friends the sign gets converted into cos the sign get converted into cos so this will become cos 55 degrees so friends 90 minus 55 so when you cross y axis then then friends you will land in the first quadrant and in first quadrant all sin cos and tan will be positive in second quadrant sin will be positive and third quadrant tan will be positive and fourth quadrant cos will be positive so friends here we will be getting cos 55 degree okay now so friends wherever so friends wherever the sine 35 degree is there i will write i will write cos 55 degree and divided by again cos 55 degree whole square minus cos 55 degree and friends here also i will write this cos 55 degree whole square plus 2 sin 30 so friends the value of sin 30 will be equal to 1 by 2 so 2 into 1 by 2 now friends this 1 minus 1 plus this will become 1 
so friends 1 and 1 will become 0 0 plus 1 will be nothing but 1 so friends the value for this question will become 1 so friends question number 2 the correct answer is option C so friends if you watch the previous videos if your basic is good friends so the basic has been discussed in the first four part of the trigonometric videos so friends if your basic is good then you will be able to solve the questions quickly in the exam otherwise friends you will have to struggle because this diagram if you are keeping in mind then friends that's all you will be able to all these questions within 30 seconds so friends these cds questions will not be very difficult if your basic concept is clear so friends here i am focusing more on the basic concept rather than the question because if your basic is good then these questions will be a piece of cake for you so friends i hope you understood both the questions of cds which discussed today thanks a lot friends for watching the video